Hello, I'm Bryn Hadler of Allergy Bites. Sometimes it's hard for parents and caregivers to recognize a reaction or decide how best to respond. Is it serious? Is it minor? Should I use the EpiPen or just give this child an antihistamine? Do I call an ambulance? Today, I'm talking to Professor Motohiro Episawa, a board-certified allergist and immunologist from Sagamihara National Hospital in Japan. He's an expert on anaphylaxis, food allergy, and pediatric allergy. Dr. Ebisawa is on the board of the World Allergy Organization and has been working to help those of us whose lives have been touched by food allergy to better understand how to recognize a life-threatening reaction and what steps we need to take. Dr. Ebisawa, anaphylaxis yes. can encompass a wide range of symptoms Mm -hmm. Can you tell us more about what it is and what symptoms we should look for? Yes. Um, anaphylaxis um, consists of uh, uh, many organ systems, such as uh, skin and uh, mucous membrane, and also uh, uh, lower and upper respiratory, mm -hmm. and uh, gastrointestinal, and also uh, circulation system, and also nervous system. And uh, what, what we mostly should pay attention to is uh, respiratory symptoms. That may be composed of uh, lower respiratory symptoms, such as wheezing and difficulties in breathing, mm -hmm. and also re repetitive cough. And uh, some, some may develop uh, laryngeal edema. Mostly, uh, sim most of the symptoms by laryngeal edema may be difficulties in swal swallowing, also a kind of tightness in, 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 in his or in her throat, mm -hmm. and uh, or resulting in the difficulties in uh, breathing also. So difficulties in, in breathing is the most uh, critical uh, part of anaphylactic symptoms. So once those symptoms appear, in addition to uh, skin or mucus system, mucous membrane uh, symptoms or GI symptoms, uh, patients and guardians need to uh, think of applying EpiPen to the patients. Okay, and that would be, so basically if there's more than just the skin, if there's the skin and the swelling of the throat or difficulty breathing or speaking, that's mm -hmm. when we would need mm -hmm. to administer an EpiPen. And yes, exactly. Okay, and there seems to be a school of thought now, you know, in the wake of the tragic uh, recent mm -hmm. losses, that even mm -hmm. if it's a skin-only reaction, we should still mm -hmm. use EpiPen. Some people are saying, forget about, forget about the antihistamine altogether, don't use mm -hmm. it, just go straight for mm -hmm. EpiPen, even for skin only. And can you yeah. shed some light on this? Yeah, that's, uh, that's also possible to simply uh, up, up apply EpiPen for the generalized, very aggressive uh, skin symptoms. Usually those uh, generalized, aggressive symptoms, you may see um, uh, subsequent uh, respiratory and also severe GI and also generalized symptoms. So if you, if you, if you are, if you wondering whether you should or not, then I would like to push, push you to apply EpiPen to that kind of condition also. Okay, and what about if it's a minor skin reaction? Like for example, my son has just had s small uh, rashes and bumps that, that have always uh, successfully mm -hmm. been treated with antihistamine mm -hmm. only. Should mm -hmm. I forget that and just use EpiPen from um, now on? Or? If if you apply like people like me, yeah, for such kind of uh, localized and mild skin symptoms, mm -hmm. if it probably doesn't matter uh, regarding adverse events. However, those um, very mild or uh, um, localized symptoms, mm -hmm. may, those symptoms may disappear without any treatment. However, if you are very um, nervous and uh, anxious for the prognosis, then 
it's okay to apply EpiPen in such circumstances. And, uh, but sometimes patients may develop kind of pale in their face and mm -hmm. also some uh, uh, palpitation as an adverse event. So you, you, may, you, you need to expect such kind of adverse event in that uh, situation with EpiPen. I see. And, and the EpiPen should always be followed up with a hospital visit, is that correct? Is that, that's right. Um, although uh, uh, anaphylactic symptoms may disappear mm -hmm. after applying EpiPen, however, you may uh, develop another wave of anaphylactic reaction that is so-called biphasic reaction. Right. So it's really important for patients and guardians to be seen by uh, doctors and specialists after using EpiPen. Right. Well, I'm going to summarize what you said to make sure that I have mm -hmm. it correctly. So if, if mm -hmm. you have a child who's just eaten a known allergen and you see any difficulty breathing, any types of swelling, mm -hmm. hoarseness mm -hmm. of the throat, you immediately apply EpiPen and you go and see a doctor right away. Exactly. Oh, perfect. Got it straight. Um, mm -hmm. Dr. Ebisawa, thank you very much for speaking with me today. Oh, our pre my pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you.